Hey there crew, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for hanging out with me today as we go through the full haul of all of the goodies that I got at the DC Pen Show. I was just overwhelmed, but in the best possible way today. I didn't actually know that the DC Pen Show was going on. I knew that they've happened in the past, but April from Penguins Creative, who works with Plotter, who was there at the show, was like, you have to come, like you're so close. And uh, I went, so I brought my wife and my kids, who at first were very reluctant to go. They were like, we're gonna be bored. Can we bring a tablet? Can we bring a phone? And I just assured them that they were gonna have a great time. And you know what? They did, and in some cases, they actually made out better than I did today. I think it's because there was like, no kids there and <laughs> as one of the vendors said you know usually these shows are just filled with old men uh, it's so nice to see younger people here and in their case younger females at a pen show like this too and it was just ugh, such a good time we like walked right in and got some goodies so uh, let's just go through the full haul everything that we got here and we'll also do some pen test and ink test not all the pens because uh, you know some of them need to be activated because uh, they're cartridges and I'm not quite ready there just yet but let's talk through all the goodies that are in the bag. As soon as we actually walked in, the one that's right here on top, there was a shop called Little Black Rabbit Papery. And right off the bat, my girls were like, ooh, washi tape. There was like bins of washi tape and all kinds of cool stuff. So we got a few things. I actually got uh, really fantastic stamps because you know that I love my stamps. Um, so these are really cool. There's some ink bottles and nibs. It was perfect for today, right? Uh, so just really nice stuff. There's also some little labels that say name and brand. So I can actually use these for samples or for swatches or things like that. And also just use them in my journal as well. So really excited for these here. My daughter actually got this. I probably need to give this back to her, but it was a really beautiful page holder, like book placeholder inside of her book. Um, so it was made out of metal and it has these cute little charms on it. Hopefully you can, you can see that there. Uh, but it's so nice. It has a pen nib and a little ink bottle and a little charm on here. So she was thrilled with that. She was like, this is this is my deal. I think Viv is going to be like my hardcore stationary girl. Uh, she also picked out this really beautiful sun and star kind of galaxy washi from there as well. So you can see this one here, hopefully. But uh, just really beautiful, just like little stars and galaxy little alien on there too so super fun and that was how we kicked everything off <laughs> right out of the gate i got myself a stamp uh we got some washi and some other good stuff so that was from little black rabbit papery who i need to find on instagram because i loved all of these things here they thought that they were so cute the next thing is not necessarily the next thing that i purchased but it's like right when i walked through um Plotter was there. One of the whole reasons that I went was because April, who works along with Plotter, actually told me that there was going to be exclusive things here that you could not get anywhere else. So I was like, then I have to go, right? I have to go for it. So as I was there, I was like, the whole table is just filled with all the fun Plotter stuff and Plotter stickers. And I was like, okay, tell me what is exclusive. What, what can I only get here? And so she was like, oh, these two things. So one is colored paper. And then the other are these panels that are here. Now, here's the thing. These are for Bible size and I have the narrow size. So not gonna exactly work, but I do believe that I have another notebook that I can use this in. So the panel layouts are actually really nice. There's actually a few little lines that are underneath it here and I thought like this would be great for swatches, this would be great for storyboarding or just some general ideas. So I was really excited for this. The color paper is something that I didn't necessarily need, um, but like, why not? <laughs> so we have just uh, different colors inside of here, which are really cool. I think one of my favorite parts of actually being there on that table was that there was a woman that was just being introduced to Plotter, like right there and then, and she was just so happy and so excited about it. Um, so, you know, listening to April and the team talk about what Plotter is and what it's all about and watching her get so excited. It was funny. I actually saw her later on in the show and she was, you know, holding her Plotter bag and I was like, what did you end up getting? She's like, I had to get the A5. There were so many cool things for it. I'm so excited for it. I'm a writer. And I was like, Oh, that's so perfect. Um, I was actually talking, I had to get some extra project managers. As you know, I'm a big fan of these project managers and I uh, was running out. So I did get these. So these are for the narrow size that I have. So I will have to use these in a different notebook, but I have a very good idea of what I'm going to do with that. But a whole separate video of that eventually when I get there. But I got them. So now I have them and I'm so excited for some ideas that I have uh, for these. So we'll be doing some future things with that. So what's next?
I did get a bunch of cards while I was there. I didn't get obviously get pens from everywhere because they are they're beautiful and they're nice, but they're expensive, right? Fountain pens, just as a whole, there are some that are some that are inexpensive. Um, we got a handful that are like introductory ones. The girls actually got more pens than I got this time, uh, so they were really excited about it. But there was a brand there that just had some absolutely stunning ones. I'll pop a picture up real quick so you can see those. I was just blown away. I just thought that it was the absolute coolest thing ever. Uh, Newton Pens was one. Uh, the Gentleman Stationery was there that I saw. Um, Scott B. Jones, so this guy was actually really cool. He has uh, an entire book of illustrations that he does on a daily basis, and he does them with fountain pen and ink. And they were so cool to look at. I was such a big fan, so I'm just going to follow him online. And the crazy thing, so while we were there, he was showing me his sketches. And I was like, wait a second. Why do your sketches look as good as what they look like in the book? Like, his sketches were so nice. That there was probably zero amount of, like, cleaning up that had to be done. They were just so precise and so awesome. Um, and I love that. Uh, Ryan Krusek was another one that I saw. I went past his table, um, but I was only there for a hot second. His pens... Oh my goodness. I was just looking at them at just like I was just in my hands. They were super light. They were beautifully ornate. Um, I didn't get a chance to chat with him at all. The table was pretty busy at the time with other people looking at his pens, um, but definitely keeping an eyeball on him just, you know, as I continue my love for stationery and all of the things. All right. We also got some amazing inks. So these were from Monte Verde USA. Uh, I've worked with them in the past. They'd sent me some amazing pens, my Engage, some other inks and things like that that I have. And I was just chatting with them, just telling them how much I appreciate the Engage. is like one of my all-time favorite pens. It's been so cool. Um, they have some other beautiful inks, too, that I've been trying out. Um, their, their brand is a part of a few different. They've got the Monte Verde USA. Um, Cochlin is another one that they have. And then they also have the Private Reserve ink as well like this guy right here that I have. So they were fantastic to talk to, and I was just going through it. And while they were there, they were so excited to see the girls were there, and we were all chatting, and they were like, what are your favorite colors? And so, of course, Viv was like, I like blue. And then Violet was like, oh, I like purple. And he was like, here, you guys can have these, um, and gave them inks to use. And that was just incredibly nice of them, totally unexpected. But they're excited because we got some other goodies for them where they'll be able to actually use these in their own pens, uh, which I'm so excited excited for as we get there. So two really beautiful inks. We'll actually swatch these real quick in a second so you can see what they look like too. Um, it was awesome. One of my favorite things, this, 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 this. So not long ago, I stumbled across Ben Walsh. He makes the most beautiful pens. Uh, Gravitas Pens is the name of the brand. Ben is the man who makes them. And I've just been... I've just been a huge fan of his for so long and just eyeballing his pens. And he was there. I got to meet him. It was pretty awesome. It was funny because there was a lot of people there. So some of us were wearing masks. And he was like, I actually knew it was you by your hair, which I was like, oh, my hair is memorable. Um, but just chatting with him, I would have bought all of his pens. Uh, I really would have. The one I wanted was the orange one with like the full orange nib and everything else. But he said that he had sold out. So just looking at all the different ones, I actually got the pocket pen, which is so beautiful in the orange. Um, I ended up going with the fine nib. He had extra fine in different ones. And you know what? Watching him just like prepare the pen. <laughs> I was so it's like, this guy knows what's up. He was cleaning up the pen. He was checking to make sure the nib was good, you know, kind of getting it all together and just such a nice guy. And just, you know, when you, you take a look at someone who's an artist who literally makes pens, um, it's it was cool. It was really awesome and surreal to get to meet him. Um, so I'll be trying this out more. I love that it's small, definitely a pocket pen. Um, and I actually have to figure out how to fill this thing up because I'm so used to like the larger barrel pens where you get the converter. Um, so we'll try that at some other point. I'm not going to do it today because I'm nervous. But now I have one of his pens. I feel like it's just a beautiful pen, not a collector's item. Like, I'm going to totally use this pen. But it was awesome to meet Ben and um, also check out Gravitas. So really, really huge fan. Oh, OK. So brand new brand that I just found out about. I'm sure other people already know about them. Uh, Pelican. So Pelican is awesome. Also find this too. So looking through the table, I was actually over still, I think at Plotter chatting with them. And my daughter comes over and she's like, dad, you have to go over here and check out this pen. It writes with highlighter ink. Like, okay. So I go over to the table and they have this highlighter yellow uh, pen, slightly transparent. And I write with it and it does write in highlighter ink. And they sell 
highlighter ink. So this is from Pelican. I am so excited for this just because I feel like I'm so used to writing with blue or black. And now I have actual highlighter ink that I can write with inside of any of my pens. This looks like a secret potion and I'm very excited. So we'll also do a test on this too so you can see uh, what this looks like. It's, it's highlighter, it's right in your face. So then also while we're there, uh, my wife and my kids are looking at some other stuff and they see these really cool twist pens. I'm thinking like, okay, you know, like you twist the pen to, to make it come up, but it's just the style of the pen. Um, it's actually a pool with a nice nib here on the top. I think these all were medium nibs that they got. And they just said that they're just better for, for holding. So the grip that's on these is spiraled. So it's a really nice, easy way to hold the pen, especially for like, little kids, like smaller hands, and it is very nice. And then I was a little bit nervous because I was like, oh gosh, like <laughs> what, what, how do we fill these things? Are they, are they converters? Like what are they in there? But luckily all of them are just standard cartridges. So um, it came with one in here. So you just gotta pop that in there and push it in to activate it um, and it'll be ready to go, but just so cool. So uh, we got this one. This one is called, what color was this one? Oh, Cold Alaska is what this color is called. So it's kind of like a cool silvery green looking color. And then violet and violets always nature is to get like the really cool looking ones here. So this had a really cool like metallic feel to it. And does it have the color on it? It's just called sheer mystic. So maybe that's the color of it. So same thing though, uh, twisty top, here with the grip here on the top in the medium as well. So I'm really excited for them. Um, like I said, the girls made out, you know, they got these pens and other ones that are in here too. Uh, so they're really excited to start using them and get into them. And I'm excited for it too, you know, like that's a really big deal. Like I never had fountain pens when I was a kid. When I talk about the kids making out, so again, they got ink, from Monte Verde USA, which is so nice of them. And then as we're walking through, I'm taking a look at some notebooks and things like that. Um, I come across another just beautiful pens. My daughter's like, look at this. And I can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head, but it had this wave inside of it. And the guy was just talking about the detail inside of the waves. But then my wife is looking at these and there's a brand called Preppy, which I had not heard about before. Um, they have this whole stack here. And the guy tells me it's like one of the world's most popular fountain pens or most popular pens. It's a fountain pen made in Japan. It's one of these, like, I don't know how, like, it's not a disposable pen. It's reusable. That's what I love about it. But it reminds me very much of a lot of those, like, pilot disposable pens that you have. And whenever I talk about them, most people say, like, oh, gosh, can you reuse that? But it has just a, a different nib that's on the tip of this. Um, the guy, same thing. Like, it must be because they, you know, don't ever have kids there. They're like, what's your favorite color? And we get two of these pens and the guy's like, here, these are yours. Like, thank you for coming out and being here with your parents. And I thought that was super nice. So they got um, a three, which is kind of like a medium size nib here. And what the guy told me as well, which is super neat, is that the inks that come with these are the same as the color of the pen. So like a blue and then like a pink uh, violet color that's here. And then he said, you just buy these refills on Amazon or you can buy them to the retailers. Super easy and nice to use. So of course I was like, well, I have to have one. And he didn't ask me my favorite color. So I paid for mine, uh, but I just got in this really cool gray color, which I think is just gonna be end up being black. Um, I got it in the two though, which was like extra fine. I wrote with it, you know, me and my fine tip pens. I love them. So I'm excited to have this one too and, and start to use this one more. While I'm going through there, the guy asked me, do you like notebooks? Do I like notebooks? <laughs> and he's like, let me show you this brand that we have down here um, called Nebula. Never heard of Nebula before. This is where he gets me. He's like, it's, it's a nice notebook. It's plain paper. But what's really cool is that it comes with guides inside of it. And I'm going to open this up anyway because I'm going to do a review of this because I'm just so excited about the notebook as a whole. But he's like, it has these guides in it. So even though it's plain paper, you can use these guides to kind of do whatever you want to do. So I'm curious <laughs> as we're looking at it. You know, come to find out it's from Nebula Note is the name of the company. So nebulanote.com. Colorverse Inc. I think is its parent company. Here we go without the plastic on it. You can take a look at that. So I ended up getting, it's called Tea Gray. Um, there's black, there's blue gray because I wanted a little bit of a different color. And then on the back here, it shows you it has these four different things. So the way that I'm assuming that this works 
and I'm pretty sure that I will be correct in how it is, you have these different patterns on it. And then here's this. So same thing like storyboard. I'm thinking possibly using this as a, a notebook for samples and colors and things like that too. Um, but it's just plain paper. But then he's like, you put the template behind it. I think he said it was 80 pound paper. And I don't know how well you can really see that or not on here, but you can slightly see the template through this. So as you're working and you have it pressed up against the notebook here, you can use these space without having to draw them out. Or I thought was really cool about it was more like using like the lines and the dots and then putting that behind there. So if you were writing in this notebook, you have the lines without having the lines, right? So you can write on this, you can do whatever you want. You can really use this as like a really cool sketchbook, journaling, whatever and do something with it so i'll be talking about this a lot more as i go into it i don't even know a lot about them to be honest what is this Ooh, little like little paper clip or something oh a little magnetic book holders i like that so we'll talk more about nebula in the future and i have a lot of work i have to do with it but i'm a sucker for cool notebooks we know that there's no surprise. So you got me, my friend, with saying that there's little paper templates to put behind the pages. Super smart, and I love it. All right, what else is in here? Oh, last but not least. Again, girls may not, but I see this as a joint gift. This was a joint buy. So uh, where's the card? Here it was. Uh, Pendemonium was the name of the table um, that we were hanging out by. And my daughter sees this beautiful glass pen. First of all, she's never seen a glass pen before. She didn't know what they were, but she's all about this color. And she's like, dad, do you see this? And I was like, yes, I see them. And I'm like secretly hoping she's gonna ask for it because I'm like, of course we can get this. And we ended up, we did get it. So this is what I'll actually be using for the ink test today. So I've actually never used um, one of these glass dip pens before, but I've seen plenty of people do it. So I feel like I'll be okay, right? You dip it, the, the ink all holds on these little grooves that are inside of here, and then you can write with them. And I feel like it should be pretty easy. Um, we will see. It also came with um, this little glass holder here. So as you sit your pen down so nicely, it sits beautifully there. So that's what I'm really excited about. And then everything else in here, what else did we get? Empty it out, I think, I think I'm good. All right, so just big old pen world, entire book magazine around pens. This was the other one um, that has some beautiful pens and inks and stuff in it, so I'll be going through those. And then, oh yeah, my wife got a little, little, little pin, which was super cute as well. So she got that guy, he's really cute. I got a little button fountain pen day <laughs> for the actual event, which was really nice. Um, and I think that was that was everything that was in here, I think. Oh, my stickers from, uh, from Gravitas. So for Ben, he had these on his table and I'm again, a monster fan. So these were really cool. That's everything that was inside of here, really excited. So let's go ahead and let's sample out the three inks that we got, uh, one for each of the girls. Um, that they got from Monte Verde USA. And then I can't wait for you to see the highlighter ink. It's the absolute coolest. Uh, I'm actually gonna be using a paper mine today. This is the uh, blocker paper. I think this is fantastic for fountain pen inks. I'd already done a test with some of them on here. So uh, this seems like the best thing to use for this here. So really excited. So let's go ahead and first start with the Monte Verde USAs. So these are beautiful, by the way. Uh, so we've got the Caribbean blue ink, and then we also have the purple ink. This is Amethyst, and this was from their gemstone collection. All right, so let's check out what Amethyst looks like. We're doing two things at once also. We are also um, going to be trying a glass dip pen for the very first time in my life too. So uh, let's go ahead and open up Amethyst. Let's, let's dip it. I'm just gonna do a little bit. All I know is that the ink is supposed to stay in the tip here as you write with it, and that's how it works. So let's see what that looks like. Thank you. 
Nice. And it still has ink on it there. So I'm going to assume that I can still write more with it. I'm in love. I think this is super nice. And I think this was only like $10. Like you can't beat that price. And then also like how well it writes there. All right. So now we're going to try uh, the, the Caribbean blue ink. This is one that Viv picked out. She's a big turquoise fan. Hence the turquoise uh, glass pen that we have here. That's her color. All right. So let's do this one here. So beautiful color. This thing is writing so nice. I'm so glad that she talked me into this or pointed this out. I've kind of always wanted one. This is a fantastic excuse. Cause she's like, dad, I want, I'm like, yes, anything you want, baby. So the next one we're going to be using is the highlighter ink from Pelican. I'm really excited for you to see this because the second that I wrote with it, I was like, must have. Why? What? What am I writing with it? How am I using it? I don't know, but I'm using it somehow. Look at that. <laughs> I love it so much. It is so bright. It is just the coolest thing ever. And I love it so much. I don't know. Is it coming off the page? Is it popping off the page? It looks like it's glowing in the dark and it's not dark. <laughs> that's how awesome it is. All right. So that's all of the goodies that we got. This was a fantastic time. I had so much fun. Uh, you'll definitely see me using these a lot more and talking about them. I can't wait to do um, a review for Nebula. Um, that just seemed like a really cool notebook. I don't know anything about them, so I have to do some research and I'm just I'm so excited for this pen. I gotta, I'm gonna, just gonna be using this at home. I can't believe that I have one of Ben Walsh's pens. Such a fan, man, such a fan. So I'll chat with you later on. Thanks so much for hanging out. See ya.